Uh, my name is Jay Kreider, and we're at uh, Queen City Arts and Framing down here, so uh, doing a little artist reception. I have lived in Helena my whole life, pretty much. Uh, moved around a little bit. Um, I have been making art since first grade. I knew from first grade that I wanted to be an artist, so um, I have just been doing that ever since, you know, all the way through high school and through college and um, after that and just a lot of it. I've had some formal training, of course, in college and in some of those art classes, but a lot of it just kind of going and trying to figure it out. I think I was really influenced by Saturday morning cartoons, you know, I would watch a lot of those and even a lot of comic books, but I always also liked um, like Mad or Mad Magazine. I liked just that kind of humor and so with a lot of my paintings I try to add sort of a dark uh, humor type element to them so yeah you know like a ice cream cone that has a face and the guy's gonna eat him I think that's great so <laughs> I think it's great so or the Grim Reaper is holding a new puppy you know going back to the Saturday morning cartoons you know I think uh, also my favorite of all time was always Picasso Picasso because he could master everything. He was so good at all different styles and so he just came up with his own. So I think you can sometimes look at these and see there's a pretty good merging of those two styles. Mm -hmm. So yep and then of course all the other great ones but definitely those were the main influences. All of them basically I pretty much start everything in sketchbooks just kind of like you would um, draw it or write in a journal you know you just kind of aimlessly or thoughtlessly writing or drawing stuff down and just sketches and so which is almost more frightening that way because I just I'm uncovering things about myself that I'm not always <laughs> aware that it's there so but they all start like that um, sketches and then um, project them onto the canvas and of course they're black and white when they're sketches so it's always kind of fun to see what happens once you start putting color on and once you start putting uh, paint down because it can change drastically you know um, some of them like the lady behind me here with the uh, all the fingers you know she in the original drawing only had five fingers but as the painting kind of progressed she ended up with seven so you know that's always the best part you don't know exactly how they're going to evolve Okay, so these two, and there's another, there's a third one around here somewhere. I think he's over, over in this direction. They're all part of a, of a series that I think, um, I always call them biopets. It's basically aliens have come down, have landed, and then these scientists have found the aliens and they start working on or start investigating them and doing scientific research on them. And of course it goes poorly, like that guy's skin is falling off, it's melting off of his body. And some of the others are even scarier. But what's so great about these, and I love them so much, is that I have had people tell me, like UFO enthusiasts, that really believe that I have been there's a lady that, I, that comes into my work and she constantly is saying, you need to go up and visit this UFO group because you could share your story with them about how your experiences. And I just, <laughs> of course, I'm thinking, no, it's not that. It's just a funny series of paintings. <laughs> I think you should be able to look at the painting and come up with your own story or your own uh, title for it or your own idea of what it was because like I said a lot of times if I'm just drawing you know free thought or free you know free form in my sketchbook then it's going to always be uh, some sort of subconscious of what I'm coming up with and it's just coming out that way and I think that that's important just to get it out rather than always have an exact idea of what it means yeah if I name it one thing that's exactly this one idea then that is what it is as opposed to if you kind of leave it more vague then I think you open it up to more interpretations. I like doing other stuff too. I've done a few comic books. I'm currently working on a comic book. It's uh, called 3003 and it's 3, 000, the year 3003 and it's these creatures um, that overpopulation everything else everybody is just merged together so now the number of eyes that each creature has is how many times they've merged but everybody that's merged that's inside them still has a voice so you have this one character that has four different word bubbles coming off of him and four different personalities and 
which is totally cheating because I can make four characters out of one, one little image. I always think it's a, a very good release to kind of be able to do, you know, some of the stuff that maybe you wouldn't, you know, it is a form of expression for me that maybe I wouldn't show off to everybody. So it's kind of a nice way to, I don't know, get to know me a little bit better with, through my paintings.